Welcome back to Life is Aisha. I know, long time no see. But um, a couple people asked me to do like my everyday makeup look. Even though I feel like I have one on my channel. Like a couple of them. And an updated bra routine. So I decided to just kind of like roll them all into one. But if this video does end up being too long, which they typically do, I'll do a part one and a part two. So um, yeah, let's just get right into the brows. I'm going to tell you the products that I've been using. Um, this is super inexpensive and it's also quarantine friendly. I know a lot of us are, well, should be majority of us are at home, home right now unless we are essential workers. Um, and, you know, social distancing. So yeah, it's, I think it's still fun to get up every day and put a little bit into yourself um we all have probably errands and different things to run i know for me it doesn't feel like my life has really stopped at all uh, with the exception of being able to actually go in places eat inside of places and um shop inside places or just visit with friends or go out of um town so yeah but other than that how has this quarantine life been treating everyone um, for me, it's been a slight adjustment because I am working at home. So, so yeah, that's been kind of weird because it's like you're at home. So you want to be super comfortable, but you still have to get the job done. So, um, staying disciplined has been my main thing and staying, um, you know, productive, but I figure I need to use this time. I need to get back into my channel. Um, I'm in front of my clothing rack right now, which I normally don't film here unless I'm doing like a review or showing like a haul. But I don't know where my backdrop is. Well, I know what some of my backdrops are, but I don't know where my main one is. Okay, so like I said, it's super simple. I use basically three brow pencils but you really only need one but I'm just extra like that. I use one that um this is the when wild um I think it's in the color Sima Sima Brown. I have all this stuff in my description box but um this is how it looks it comes like a long pencil about that long but I've stopped been using it and um it is one that you sharpen so that's how it looks and I have one. It's by this brand in Studio Cosmetics. I believe it's only sold at Walmart. It was literally like a dollar. And this is in the color medium brown. And that's how it looks. It also has a spoolie on the end, which we will be using in just a moment. And I have this LA Colors. Um, it's in the color medium. I'm thinking that means medium brown, but that's how it looks. And it also has a spoolie as well. I'm using two concealers. The first concealer is um and warm honey. And these are these are both pro conceal. And the second one is medium beige. I have a real techniques brush that I will be using to blend out the concealer. And I also have just this um oval shaped brush. I'm not really sure where I got it from, but it will be to blend the concealer out on top of my so brush. For me the main key is to make sure you start your brows um off extremely clean so i use um a makeup wipe and i'm gonna be looking over here in my handy dandy mirror so i use my makeup wipe and i just clean off my brow area making sure that there's no oil on it because um i do put oil on my face and moisturize my skin before i put makeup on and also let me get some of this mascara off of my eyelid okay so we have clean brows and um since the wipe is kind of damp i do kind of fan over my brows just to get it to dry down because it'll be hard to apply any product to the brow and it'll stay if you have any residue on your brow so yeah let's just let that dry down and now that that is dry we're going to use the spoolie from that brow pencil so and i have some type of fuzz that's on my fingernail don't mind my nails, you all. We are all, you know, very much so looking a little raggedy right now. But we're going to get through this time. So I'm spooling my brows. And um, I haven't got my brows done in some months. Well, since like my birthday, January. But I do go in and I have a tweezer and a brow um shaper. So they're not super um unmanageable right now. So now that we have those, and um, I think I'm going to go for doing my right side by showing you all that. And then, of course, just speed through this side. But I'm going to show you all from this angle because this is the angle I'm a little more comfortable with. So let me zoom you all in. I'm going to start off the, with the Wet n Wild Brow Pencil. 
which is this one here and now that I have a spoolie I'm just going to follow the shape of my brow starting at the very top some people do the bottom but I prefer the top and um just outlining my brow if you make any mistakes like I kind of went outside the line a little bit the concealer will fix all of it and this is the most important part this is basically how you control your shape like if I want a thicker brow I will underline it you know wider if I want a thinner brow I will come closer to it so I'm going for one that's like pretty much the shape of my brow but I think I'm going slightly thinner because like I said my brows um, have grown out a lot so I start here at the point of it and that's how I make my shape and I'm just going to bring it slightly up as I'm underlining it so it is going to be a little bit of hair I'm not sure if you can see that but because my brows are not freshly tweezed we want we want that so and we're going to bring the other one down and we basically have it at a point so this is my brow shape I haven't filled it in or anything. Now I have both of my size outlined. Next we'll be going in with the LA Colors. Um, like I said, this is a medium. And this is the brow pencil that I use to fill in my brow. Um, from the end all the way to the front, almost to the end. So I just fill it in. Um, you basically just color it in your brow. And we have both of those filled in. So this is the part here where I take the this brow pencil here and it's like I said this is in the color medium brown basically what I do is I just create I just do little lines at the front of my brow um, doing it very lightly I um, hope you can see that but I just create little lines and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side so you can see that one as well and after I create those little lines um, basically those are gonna be the brush strokes of your brow um, so you create those little hairs and then you just use a spoolie and you blend it all together so it's kind of like it gives that gradient effect so your brow is not super dark um, from the beginning to the end. And spoolie that side up as well. That's your completed brow. Now we're going to go in with the concealer. And this is going to clean everything. Um, I'm going in with medium beige first so I just squeeze some of that out and I just put it on my um, hand. I squeezed out a little bit too much but that's because I'm going to be concealing certain areas of my face as well which will be in part dose. So, let's zoom us out a little bit. Okay, that's a little bit better. Okay, so, taking the concealer, and I'm using the same brush on here. You're going to clean up your brow area, and this one should be lighter than your skin tone. Because it's also, it also can be used um, as a way to highlight before you apply any type of eyeshadow to your face. So, I have a couple little hairs that are in the way, but like I said before, it's because I really need my brows done, so <laughs> don't mind that. And we're just repeating the same exact thing on this side. Uh, warm honey, which is more so closer to my skin tone. And basically that is the end of how I do my brows um of course we're gonna blend all of these all of this concealer out but you get what I'm saying that's the gist of how you do your brows how you fill in how you line it how you get the shape of your brow how you conceal it and how you you know create your brow and I've carefully blend it out um, so it's not harsh looking use the other brush here because um, I don't know why I do. I could use the same one. I just don't like using the same one I do for my lighter concealer. It's my darker one. It's um, personal preference, really. And you blend it out. Um, I actually start at the edges of it. And then I move closer to my brow. Um, I just feel like they just it's easier for me. Okay, and that is actually the very end of this. Let me get my step together because I, like I said before, we'll, I will be continuing this video on. So please stay tuned for part two. That's going to bring us to the end of this video. These are my brows. Um, let me zoom you in a little bit. 
okay and you can see these are the final look i'll see you in my next video which will be later on this week stay tuned for part two like i said before and as always remember to like comment subscribe and share thank you for watching